what is going on guys this is your boy mr 75 complete here with another video today guys we're going to be taking the ss intimidator to the sound shop um i think it's time to get this truck ready for the shows since you guys know the felix is gone we still got the intimidator ss so uh the truck didn't have no music so we're going to go drop it off the same sound shop that did the felix so we're going to drop this one not sure what he's going to do to it so i kind of just let them uh go with the advice so they know what they're doing they've been doing it for years so why not you know he knows what to put in it and the felly sounded good so we're gonna be going to drop this off and after that then we got legend at the shop we're getting some things touched up on it we are getting ready to go to the rick ross car show which is going to be soon i believe um they're supposed to drop the date today at three so we are going to be taking it and then we're probably going to go check out a car so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for this it's a really nice car and y'all gotta want to see it so stay tuned here's the chevy ss for those who don't know what the intimidator is about to load her up we can drop her off definitely need some music though I think it just got it's got an aftermarket pioneer radio so we're gonna add some mids and we're gonna add some bass and the epicenter so nothing too crazy i mean this is uh all original look at the headrest sunroof oh we gotta clean that up not sure what uh you're gonna be able to do here i think it goes under the seat but we'll ask him once we get over there or see what he suggests but let me load this thing up guys all right guys we just dropped up uh the intimidator ss to the sound shop and now we are here about to check out this uh i think it's a 91 1991 or 1992 cadillac fleetwood um that uh, i got offered so we're here about to check it out and see what's all to it. So let's go. Let's check this bad boy out. Got the nice European lights in the front. The chrome got some nice shine to it. Bumpers are nice. I feel like it needs a two inch white wall, or at least a white wall. It's not really giving it the effect, the wow factor of an OG clean because like those are like some big black tires. So it's not making that wheel pop, you know, the hood cap. Looks clean though. I don't see any bumper fillers missing. Rag top looks all original. I don't see any cracks. Could use some shine. Let's bring it back to life, some conditioning. I know these things always break on the older ones, but I mean, this is a 92, so it is a newer one. See the back bumper got some bubbling. Is it? Yeah, some bubbling right there starting. It's got the key lock thing. It's got the 5.0 liter. Okay. I know they came with the 5.0 and the 5.7. Looks nice when the sun hits it. So what I see, it does got some bubbling on each wheel well. I think I see some in the front, right here. And it's got a lot of, it's got some compound, so at one point somebody probably tried to buff it. Still got it right there. <laughs> Let's check this bad boy out. Oh, look at this chrome, it looks so good. Wonder if this thing works. Got the nice leather seats, blue on blue. 
if you two got the seatbelt on the door. I don't know if all of them got the, the seatbelt on the door, but you know, I don't really know about Cadillacs that much. Doors look clean. Rockers. They do look clean. Cadillac's got a lot of wood grain. You probably pop the trunk. Yep, got a pop trunk. And it works. Got the owner's manual. Records. Got the original radio. Let's see if the antenna works. But it's all digital, which is pretty cool on a Cadillac. Um, I'll go to the driver's side in a minute. I don't want to turn it on. Let's just... Oh, the antenna does work. Y'all see it going up. So, that's good. Big plus. Who knows about this thing right here? <laughs> a little compartment. I wonder what this is for. I know my old cat like I had one before and it had one. I didn't know what it was for, but it had one. Got your cigarette lighter right here. It's got the lock and it works, the window, seat, and it's got a recliner, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to the back. Clean. Clean doors, clean jams. Seats look good. I don't see any cracks. Headliner looks pretty good. I don't see any sagging. Got the armrest here. And we got the lights here. See, they work. Oh, they do work. That's pretty neat. Okay, okay. We got a little pocket in the back. See red lighter here, ashtray, and a window. These things were fully loaded back in the day. Well, they still are, right? <laughs> like they got the Cadillac symbol everywhere. I can see it right here on the seat. And you can see it like everywhere. On the seat right there, right here. The Cadillac symbol everywhere. Right there. And it's a bro hand. Oh. So, let's move on to oh yeah the trunk is open already guys got it the trunk nice and clean or carpeted we got the spare and we got the jack back there and the cut more catalog we got the stickers the numbers and how to change a tire Okay, I wonder if this is the one that pulls down like with the automatic thing. Let's see. Oh yeah, y'all yeah. see the trunk going down by itself. That's pretty neat. Yeah, those guys clean jams, clean doors. The inside looks pretty good shape. Doesn't look like it's got any tears or anything missing. It's got everything like Nothing missing from the doors. It looks just a little dirty. See that? Dirty. Could be a piece of cleaning, some shine up. But it looks good. I believe the car got low miles. Here's the driver's side. Clean door. Clean jam. Here's the driver's side. Driver's seat. Look at all the components. It's got the wipers right here, the lights, cruise control. Look at the digital dash. So it's got 73,000 original miles. That's pretty cool that it's digital. Here's the horn. And then when you have a warning, it lights up right here. Kind of like an Oldsmobile. Let me see if I can show you. See that? It lights up on the wood. That's pretty cool. Got some kind of cut off switch right there. See what how under the hood looks like. This wheel has got some bubbling here too. Yeah, for weird. Like all the wheel wheels, it got some bubbling. I don't know why. I don't know if that's for these cars. Rust from how big this hood is. 
This is the engine bay, pretty dirty. But this one got the good motor actually, look, it's got a 5.7. I wonder why the back says 5.0. Well, this got the good big motor guys, a 5.7, 350. And it looks like it's all original. Just dusty. Try to think about this. I haven't bought one of these in a while. This is kind of hard. I haven't bought one of these in a while, so I don't even know what's the market. I do see them here and there. Just don't know what they sell for or what kind of money they be bringing. So I just came to check it out. So what y'all think, gang? What you guys think this is worth? Or is anybody interested in this? I don't know if I want to cop this one because I don't really know much about Cadillacs and I would like to, I really don't want to get stuck with this. It's a nice car, pretty clean car, low mile car. It's just, the only thing that I see is just those little um, wheel wheel lifts that got some bubbling. But besides that, the car looks pretty solid. Inside the doors, inside the rockers, like all that looks pretty solid. Chrome looks good, uh, top looks good, interior looks good. So just really minor for being a 92. Front end looks good. Back bumper do got some bubbling. And this Cadillac got these little things. It uh, I think they tell you something when the lights out or something like that. I forgot what about it. But I don't want to say much because I don't remember guys. It's been a while. I think I had a white one back then all tinted up. It looked nice, white on white with the blue interior as well. This was nice. I just don't know what kind of market these are right now. I do see them. A lot of people be putting Danes on, spokes. They do look good. Yeah, I want everybody to get in the conversation. Let me know what y'all think about this 92 Cadillac Broham. What y'all think, yo? What's the, what's the value on this, guys? Or you can say if anybody's interested, car is available. So I don't know if I'm going to be buying this or I have to do my research before I buy this. So let me know, gang. All right, gang, we just left from checking out the Cadillac. Don't look too bad, looks pretty nice and clean besides the little bubbling on each wheel wheel. Uh, like I said, I don't know much about them cars. So I'm gonna ask around uh, before I decide to possibly purchase it. But yeah, we'll see. Anyways, now we're gonna head to Bowtie Performance, where Legend is, and see if he's done with the car so we can take it home. We got little, things we want to get done for the summer so let's go Ooh -hoo -hoo. we got wipers again they don't turn off now I don't know where the switch is supposed to be up all the way up all the way up yeah it's all the way up right now Down faster. It's all the way down or the way up? It's all the way down right now when I turn the key on and off. So it's all the way down. So that's how it's supposed to be. You just gotta know when to set. It don't work no more? Yep. It was nice while it lasted. <laughs> I know box Chevy sometimes they be like that like when you um when they, they they're on 
Sometimes it won't turn off unless you turn off the car. Right, right. Yeah, but I'm not saying that's the proper way, right, right. but I know some old schools they'd be like that. I don't know about this one. All right, we're gonna let them finish that. But yeah, we are here at Bow Type Performance. We got some cars over here. What year is this Cutlass? What? what year is the Cutlass? 72. 72 Cutlass. Nice. I actually have seen this car before in downtown Chicago. It's a nice car. Got the four Giados with the big wheel wheel brakes. Six piston. Got a nice claw top. She got the interior. Got the matching steering wheel. Got the Dakota Digital. Floor shifter. The radio looks good in there. And we got the old school dice. Nice bucket seats. We got a console in the middle. Nice. Nice diamond stitch. I like the color scheme on this. It looks good with the car. Like it flows nice. Then he got the striping. So everything flows pretty good. I got the old golf car, yep. He ended up buying a gang, so he got the new, I mean the old golf car, because I got the new one. Not that it's new, but it's, oh, I got these man. I remember me buying a car, the colors like this that I sold before, and I had these. I didn't know they remake them, but I still got them. Wonder if people will buy them. I think I got two of them. If anybody needs some of them vents, I don't know if they resell them. Those are like they've been reconditioned, so I don't know if they're new or they're just aftermarket. I think it's nice. And we got his Chevy, which is under construction. What you doing to your Chevy? Oh yeah, you're power recording the headers, right? What kind of tank is this? Rick's tank. And we got Legend right here, getting all the kinks fixed. You know, this car's been down for a while, so it was time to do some stuff. We're gonna be replacing the two rear speakers because that one was blown. So we're gonna replace those two speakers. The windshield wipe motor didn't work. It actually broke on, we were together in Florida, Florida Classics, and it started raining on us. Then our alternator went out, and then we just got stranded in the highway. Florida. Yeah, it was raining super hard. We were off a ramp, dark, with no lights. We were, we thought we were gonna get Phones hit. Were dying. Oh yeah, our yeah. phone was dying. It was a bad experience with this car, man. It was Florida be, scary. yeah, Florida be we weird. Got the car because we thought we didn't want to get Yeah, yeah, the cars were coming so fast off the exit. We thought they were not gonna be able to see us and they were gonna hit us. Florida drivers can't drive. Yeah. I got the, the light switches under there too. It works. The light switch? What light switch? Oh, okay, okay. It works with the car on or off now, so you could do okay. car show mode or no car show mode. Alright. Well, we're gonna let him finish and then uh, we'll probably take it home if he finishes today. I'm hoping he does. So I can just take it home. But we did buy a new motor. So we're just trying to figure out how to make it work. Because it was not the exact same one. But you know, when you buy stuff online, it's just. For these old cars, it'd be all yeah, it'll be all confusing and stuff. It could be what that is, to tell you the truth. Yeah, it's missing that one wire, so it's it, the controller's different. It very well could be, it could be stuck in like it was almost acting like it was in washer mode. Oh, like when you spray that thing, mm -hmm. but when you hit the, the, the washer thing, you actually got to press on the button, right. I don't With know. the connections, I don't know. It is weird though. Yeah. It could it very well that could be it because it's not an exact fit to the old one. Well, we're gonna figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. The wires are getting hot right there. Right, 
Sorry, little man. My wheels need to get repolished. We need it to put. Nice minded, remember? We need to put some tires on it. Yep. Time to bring it back. I haven't drove this thing since my wedding. Well, and the photo shoot I had, or the video, whatever. Gotta do all your chains. Gotta do a little minor stuff. And I had it ready for the summer. I guess I'll show you guys in the next vlog if we fix it. If not, we didn't fix it. <laughs> We're gonna have to get the right one. But we out. Good.